I first became interested in space when I was in elementary school and I happened to get a Buck Rogers comic book which I found very interesting. That was long before the space was a reality and I used to read this comic book uh, from time to time. I used to come to school with it inside of my book and the teacher would say that's not what you're supposed to be reading. Uh, but then I found out later that space could actually be a reality, not just science fiction, because I read in Collier's magazine articles by Werner von Braun and his associates of a proposal that they were making to actually send people out into space. And that's when I really got interested in the space program because that was something that I might be able to be involved in when I became an adult. So I used to read not only the science fiction, but also whatever I could find in the way of science fact. And the only science fact that I was able to get a hold of in those days was astronomy, which is the closest subject to spaceflight. So I became very interested in astronomy. Astronomers and aerospace engineers are not that close to each other. So I had to make a decision as to whether I should do aerospace engineering or astronomy. So I did my best to include both in my college career. Well, one of the things about the Naval Research Laboratory is that it has a broad field of science and technology research activities and allows us to have the benefit of involvement in discovery, research, as well as actually building instruments and designing instruments. I spent time, a lot of times, preparing instruments for flight because in testing in the laboratory they found out that there were problems that had to be fixed before we go a step further. When we go out to the launch sites, we always have to do last minute testing of the instruments to make sure that they're working properly. Because once they're launched into space, there's no way you can get it back to fix it. The far UV camera experiment that went to the moon on the Apollo mission we felt was going to be a great step forward in studying in the ultraviolet wavelength range of the spectrum which the eye cannot see and which cannot penetrate through the Earth's atmosphere. Therefore, uh, going out into space allows us to observe not only distant stars and planets in ultraviolet light which you can't observe from the Earth but also observe the Earth's upper atmosphere for the first time uh, in ultraviolet light. What drives me today is that there are many spaceflight missions still being planned, new projects to work on. Education and outreach is an important topic because of the fact that the students today will be the scientists and engineers of tomorrow.